Hello friends, welcome to my channel, a channel for learning simple coding. If you find this video to be helpful, please like, share and subscribe my channel. In last video, we have understand what is event and what is event handling. And we cover all the interview questions of event handling in the last lecture. In this class, I'm going to uh, give you the answer of these five questions. Uh, what is bootstrap how to install bootstrap in nextjs how to insert bootstrap css in nextjs components and how to insert bootstrap event uh, bootstrap javascript event handling in nextjs and how to use bootstrap in nextjs these questions we are going to handle in this class so what is bootstrap so you see that with example what is bootstrap we open and goes for internet here and I type here bootstrap and you will see the whole browser is filled with bootstrap so it's a first website go there and get bootstrap so this is a bootstrap so you can install like this so bootstrap is world known framework which have inbuilt CSS to design your web page rapidly fastly and beautifully that is the bootstrap so if you go to documentation here so we have so many things about bootstrap that I will cover later on in more videos which coming in future here I'm going to explain you that how we can stall this bootstrap so bootstrap is a well-known framework you see powerful framework that have inbuilt CSS to make your website beautiful and powerful so how we can uh, install this so I tell you that how to install so first thing is what is bootstrap so bootstrap is a CSS based framework that have inbuilt CSS to make your website beautiful and make your web development faster also so close this application because we have to install bootstrap and I say npm i, I means install bootstrap, press enter, so very very simple. So npm install i bootstrap, so it will install latest bootstrap in your application. But only installation is not sufficient, we need to make some configuration. So you see that question, what is bootstrap, I have explained you. How to install bootstrap, it's a very very simple, npm i bootstrap. Now third question is how to insert bootstrap CSS in Next.js component. How we can use and how we can use this JavaScript component that we are going to learn and how to use bootstrap that we will see later because first of all we have to make these two configuration then we can use. So go there. Suppose that if you want to use bootstrap in your root page root page is what that is inside a app folder we have page.jss this folder is a root one so if you want to use here then we have a separate configuration if you want to use here then we have the separate configuration so css is required everywhere from the root so we can also install this css in a global dot css file so there are different different way but here you can import remember here you can use it and you can say bootstrap bootstrap then we have a dist folder then we have CSS folder then we have bootstrap dot min dot CSS or bootstrap dot CSS whatever you want you can give here and save this from where I can get this path so you see when we stall so we have here bootstrap this one is a bootstrap under this we have a dist folder then we have a css folder then we have different different file that we want to use so under the bootstrap we have dist then we have css then we have a bootstrap so i can use this like that way so remember that so i minimize this module so like this way we would be able to use bootstrap so how we can check we are able to use so you see how to use bootstrap remember that the question say fifth question how to use bootstrap so 
we because we have an inbuilt classes in bootstrap and we have set it as a global css you see in a global css we have imported it and we will use it so as a button if you see uh, i run this application now first of all npm run dev and uh, we will see that here we have this normal uh, button and now now i will change this button to bootstrap button so how i will do just i tell you go there and here in button uh, i say class name and here i say btn btn primary like this and i save this so remember that class name btn btm primary means blue color i want to set and if i refresh it you see so this change my name button is converted into bootstrap remember that see what is the change so i set this bootstrap as a global css here everybody can use each component can use bootstrap and you can do one more thing also in place of importing from here you can import here also we can import here also we can say import and i say here bootstrap then i say here dist then i say here j uh, css then i say here bootstrap dot css remember like that also we can use so this is the normal way you can use like that also you can use like that also only one way you have to use so remember that so i am just uh, i'm just making comment here because only one way only one place you can use it not in two places otherwise it would be repetition of code so you can use like this also or you can use like this better to use in css because it's a css so we can use in global css file or we can use here also whatever you want you can check yourself what which 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 one is better for you now you see that css we have inserted but if i insert javascript so javascript i cannot insert in global.css remember here i can't ins insert so that's why right now i am making this as a comment so i say comment here and i say it uncomment remember why because i will use javascript also and i just show you what is the error so here similar to this if i import javascript bootstrap dist jss dist then js means javascript and here i say bootstrap dot js like this if i say and you will see that error there are so many error is coming right now and it crash this application is crash why so in react we can use like that in a very very simple way but remember that next js have two types of rendering client side rendering and server side rendering that's why we have to call this javascript on client side we call this bootstrap at client side for inserting a javascript if you are not using javascript functionality means navbar we have if you are not using navbar then you can ignore this js file but you can use only css file but if you want to use this css file remember this javascript file you want to use so this is not the way to use in nextjs so how we can check the use of it first of all i make it comment here why because otherwise it will generate error so now it is running and you see that it is running perfectly now we make a environment to use this for that i am creating a navigation bar i am just showing you the power of bootstrap also and how you can make your bootstrap work completely workable nobody will tell you in a video i am telling you completely workable so here i create a nav bar so i say nav bar dot jsx this is a component and here i say rafce so this is a new component nav bar and remember that so far i have not created any video on routing or navigation in next js so i will create those video in later also but right now i am not using any concept of app routing of next js here i am just using a concept of 
bootstrap so how you can use bootstrap so bootstrap required javascript so for navigation purpose so that's part of bootstrap i'm using here so i will take the code from the bootstrap website and i say here navbar navbar here and i need this navbar here so this type of navbar we have so like this way and we have so many types of navbar here so i take the normal one this one i take and i make it copy clipboard this one and ready made code we have and under this component i paste it and i save this so this navbar is ready no need to make any changes and i am not making any change in this navbar i am just explaining you that how to make javascript of bootstrap also workable and link with your application so remember that i use this global css we have to remove and in app.css we have imported this bootstrap remember so i have change name so here i call this component is called navbar so this component i am using here after inserting this component you will see that look and feel we have a navbar feature okay it looking better but you will see that it have some problem problem is that if i do inspection here and you see that size of this is reduce and if i click here you see this navigation bar this menu bar is not dropping down you see i click here but it's not dropping down why because javascript is not working we have css is working bootstrap css is working but javascript is not working why because if i insert javascript here so this page component is a root component of this website in next js we have to run it on a client side so here i can't i can't insert this here remember because i have to execute it as a client side and i can't insert it like that also so i go navbar because here we need this so if i try to import here it will generate error remember i save this and here i need to tell that i need it in a client side because because it's a bootstrap javascript so i say call this as a client side so one error i remove so it will call on client side but remember that still we have a error you see we have a error in this page why we have error because we are executing this client side but this is not the way to use this bootstrap javascript in next js so how we can use we have to call a hook is called use effect like this under this use effect i have to call arrow function and here i need to decide this will execute once and here i will use this import as a function i cut it here i paste it here and i say here require remember this require function because require will stop the execution if it is not working so i say require and i say bootstrap dist jss boot so you see so in this bootstrap code i need this jss that's why i make it as a client component use client and on use effect in the client browser i execute this js means each and everything is working right now now i go to this you see it is working if i click here you see we have a navigation menu you see it working you can see right now each and everything you see it's a complete navigation if i reduce the size as per the mobile page or tab page so automatically because it's a responsive you see bootstrap is a responsive so now it behaving on a click that means my css is also working my javascript css or bootstrap is also working right now so this is the proper way to insert a bootstrap in next js so i have cover all the questions of interview plus the most important question how to insert bootstrap javascript event handling file in next js remember that no one will tell you like this i am making this code very very simple 
to understand you can understand it easily and why we require I have given you each and every demo here everything is practically explained so still if you have some problem or you have some query you can comment on this video if you like it please do subscribe thank you for watching this video